Okay, guys, welcome back. Well, today we're gonna um, end up putting the the last animations to button two, three, and four. Okay. Also, we're gonna add animations where Shaggy can start moving and changing with the song. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, guys. So let's begin with the um, actually with the buttons. Changing the song. Remember, in the first button, we want to click, add a control, and play one, and change the two message. So now, in the button two, we're gonna take game controller. Add it, go to game controller, okay, and we put play two since this is button two, okay, and button number three. Now we go to unclick, add the unclick, and then take the game controller, move it over, okay. So then we go to go down to game controller and then send message string and then add play three, okay. Then we go to button number. Three. From there, remember we go all the way down to on click add, and non objective we add game controller. Then we add the game controller all the way down to send a message and play four. Okay, I'm just going to go back and review that all of them are the same. Okay, see right here number one, it's not okay. So here, game objective game controller. See that there's a difference. Okay, as you can see, if that happens, you just have to go back and rechange it. The game objective message. Okay, so it should be game controller message. Okay, so let's just go back and change it from game objective. Sorry, the game controller should be there. It's there all the way to game controller. And it's not coming out, so that's no problem. And just making sure. Okay, when it's... I. When it's errors like this, just go back and make sure, okay, that the game controller is there. If it, let's say you do have the error, it did come up, but you could always just erase it and then add the game controller later on. So I did that so you could see you could always erase it and there will be no issues. So now you go all the way down to game controller and add the string. So just in case you don't have that message or that, you could always t erase it, the minus, and then just add it. Okay, from there, now we have the play two. Now we're ready. We're set. We're good to go. So all of them are exactly the same now okay and make sure we save it after finishing all those make sure we save it now we press play we make sure if every single one of the songs is off okay i'm making i'm turning up my volume but i don't think it's gonna you can't hear it so no okay but all all the buttons have a different song now and from there now we're gonna add the animation to shaggy okay now and Shaggy, we go to the animator, okay? In the animator, we have all these animators on top, okay? Just what we're gonna do, we're gonna spread them out so when we start working on them, we can have them evenly, okay? The one that I'm gonna erase, we're gonna erase spell. I know I erased Samba, but it should be spell. Samba, I'm gonna add it on later on. I'm gonna add it again, but it should be Samba to stay, not spell, okay? Spell, we have to take it away and we just add a transaction. Remember, we click at any stats and then we right click and then we add a transaction okay so once we add that on the left hand side in parameters we have to connect them so we add them okay in the layers in the parameters we add it and then we add a bowl so the bowl we just rename it to gamna okay and then the next one since i do have spell I, i'm going to name it spell but it should be samba okay but leave it at spell it's fine if you want to leave it at spell okay but that one's gonna connect actually to Samba, the spell one, the, the one that's named spelled, okay? And then three, we're gonna go with, it's Hokey Pokey, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So I, I'm gonna go with Hokey. And number four, it's the Slide Hip Hop, so I'm gonna go with Slide Pop, okay? Slide Hop, Slide, slide Hop. From there, we renamed them, so, we have parameters named, how we have bold name, so we rename it what, what's gonna happen. It's gonna be actually a true or false. Remember, a bold is either a true or a false. That's also make sure the way you named it, that's the way you're gonna use them. Okay, so exactly how you spelled it, exactly how you named it, that's how you're gonna use it. So now we click on the arrow, we click. So now we got a uh, gamna. Let's go back, let's add. And now this the second one says gamna, so we have to change it to spell. Okay, so now we select the spell. And the third one, 
we click on it it's gamma we have to change it to hokey okay now the fourth one add and add site hop okay so now all of them are connected all of them will be connected so where you did this change now just save it guys okay remember make sure you click and save and everything looks good so now I do have the samba I went back and added the samba okay so the samba still left it as a spell as you can see okay from there we go to the game controller in the game controller we're gonna start editing the script okay so now let's edit the script so here I'm just waiting for my script to load up remember if it takes a while don't be frustrated if it takes time don't be frustrated everything is just everything is just um, going smooth okay it's loading everything and now we're gonna start working on on our script remember the script I had left in a Schoology remember if you want to add comments it's backslash and I'm adding this comment so I could know this is my audio audio variable so public audio clip and private audio source this is my audio source now I'm gonna add I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna add another comment I'm gonna add shaggy okay so here in shaggy I'm gonna start working on what it is shaggy so now I'm gonna do a public okay public game controller and remember you could always select them public game object remember you could always select them from the suggested that's coming out or you could always just finish typing it out so I'm gonna do public game objective shaggy semicolon remember we have to close it with the semicolon now I'm gonna work with the animator then we're gonna go with shaggy shaggy anime okay so that's just letting you know that's gonna be the name of the animator so we're gonna go shaggy anime okay so remember close always close close with the semi comma okay so now that's the source and this is your shaggy we're gonna start doing all the other stuff so where you named name the variables where you give it the class where you give it what they are the names and stuff okay make sure you save it turn screen great if it turns red remember we have a problem if it's yellow it's still not saved from there we're gonna go all the way down after all the void plate after void plate 4 we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna do the enter between the two closing keys from there we're gonna go void stop animates okay open and close parentheses and then we're gonna add string anime okay from there we're gonna open and close the key enter let's put them both at the bottom okay let's line them up I line them up because it looks clean okay you don't have to but it looks way better it's better way better believe me okay in that space below you're gonna press tab and we're gonna go three tabs four tabs and we have the closing the closing making sure everything still set straight so the last closing remember closes the whole pro the whole script the second closing closes this void uh, stop animates okay so we could take it to the top or we could take it to the bottom it doesn't matter I like like I said like I like putting it at the bottom so I could see the line that they're both connected okay from there let's go to the middle let's press enter now we're gonna go for each okay for each so that means like for each one for each anime we're letting it know which what are we doing for each animator control per okay control controller and then we could select it from the top or we could just keep writing it okay so animate control parameters and then space and then parameters again okay like I said again we could select it from the suggestion box or we could just keep writing it it's up to you how you feel more comfortable just make sure you do select the correct one and now we're gonna do shaggy see how shaggy anime came out that's what we created at the top so we could select it or keep writing it dot parameters okay let's select it and at the end I do have a it's showing me the squiggly red line that means I'm having an error so now I'm going to open it and close it with another key okay so this other key it's going to show me new it's going to tell it new information for just this for each okay 
so I did put it up close so I won't get confused and I'm going to use another tab so it won't get confusing so that way you know the top one closes this bottom one okay you could also take it to the top and create a space in between but actually it's up to you that will be just up to you from here I'm just going to leave it like this because I know those two keys close each other and open these, each other and we have the ones next to it okay from here I'm just going to go to this space and I'm just going to press one two three four tabs and going to start writing underneath for each okay and this code actually pay close attention what you're writing because any little mistake any little thing would throw your your code off okay so if it needs capital letter capital letter if it needs uh, lowercase lowercase dots closing anything you need um play just close attention okay so we're going to go shaggy anime dot set bowl open parentheses parameter dot name comma and then we're going to put it false okay and then from there semicolon enter why we're closing down that that bowl okay so i'm going to add a tab so i could push it a little bit more so i could tell the difference between the top one and the bottom one so i'm going to enter and then press on the tab so we're going to go shaggy enemy dot set bowl just like the top okay open parentheses and then we're gonna write this is gonna be our true statement so it's gonna be anime true anime comma true then we're gonna close it with a semicolon so every single time I close it with a semicolon as you can see it pushed it back to where the line is okay so it's gonna be up to you how you want it I'm just doing the little spaces I'm doing like the space between the, the parentheses and the set wall so it could look a little bit spacier and easier to read Okay, from there I could just press the tab on the shaggy and I'm just gonna save remember I had them yellow so I press saved and they turn green so from here I'm just gonna go to to my unity and we have our parameters here we have our animators here so everything right now is off what this is gonna do true and false is gonna turn them on automatically now if I go to my game controller the game controller just added shaggy I'm gonna take shaggy and I'm gonna add shaggy to the game controller okay so everything I'm putting here, it's going to be added to the game controller, okay? Shaggy appeared because of the public class, public object we did, okay? So remember, we did a public object, so that's how we added Shaggy, just like the music 1, music 2, music 3, music 4, like that. So now we're going to go to void plate 1, okay? Right in, right before the first code of the void plate 1, we're going to start doing a code for Shaggy and for the animator to start working. So we're going to go with stop, enemies, okay? Um, open parentheses apostrophes open parentheses and close make sure well the program opens and closes from you and now we're going to write gumnum okay so however you spelled it on the unity program make sure that's how you spell it here if you do have any issues on spelling this error or you misspelled it okay it will give you a it will give you a error an issue okay so now we're going to do that for the play two as well okay so i just file copied and i pasted so instead of running gum gum num now this is going to be spell which spell was my second one okay and we're going to do that for the three and we're going to do that for the four so we're going to just keep um changing the name and i'm just uh as you can see once i click tab or enter i paste it the source moves over to the left i am i am fixing it so if it does that, don't worry. You could still always just fix it. Okay, from there, I'm going to go to play four and I'm just pasting it. Okay, now yeah, I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to fix. And I'm going to fix. Just to stop, I need to add a little space. Go back. So, what I'm going to change, remember, I'm going to change the Gamnum. Gamnum. So, I did have spell. So, now I'm going to go back just to make sure I'm going to set the correct one to spell. Now it's hokey and then it's going to be slight hop. Okay, so I'm making sure how I spelled each one this has to be detailed you have to make sure you spelled it the same way okay so i'm going to go with hokey and now slight hop okay i did capital s capital h so i'm going to go capital s slide capital h hop okay so now i control s make sure i did do the all of them now it's yellow and i save it now i go back to my to my field and make sure everything is correct once that's done okay like i said make sure all these are spelled correctly if not you're gonna have a big error okay once it's done 
now you could just um, save everything. So Gamna, I did spell Gamna wrong. So I did it with the O instead of the A. So now I went back. See, I'm making sure I'm spelling everything correct. Once I'm back, okay, I just click on save here and I press play. And every single time I click a button, the dance is going to change with the song. So actually, I know this has been the long, one of the longest videos I've done. Remember, just take your time. Be careful. You're doing great. Pause, play, do what you need to. Get, let's get it right, okay? And stay safe, guys. If you have any questions, send me an email. Take care. Bye.